Hey guys, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper. So for my tent sleep system, I thought I would share with you. Now, this is a new tent for me. Uh, this is actually, it's Maiden Voyage. Uh, slept in it overnight, no issues. Didn't have any rain or anything, so really didn't get to test uh, it in the rain. But uh, according to a lot of reviews, people I know that have these, uh, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. Uh, I did seal up the tie outs anywhere where there was something stitched over top of the uh, outer lining or the shell. So last night it got down to 36 degrees. And so what I had was the green uh, patrol bag from the military sleep system. And I'm a warm sleeper. And I will tell you that that's probably the limit for me. Uh, I think below 36, this is this is not going to be uh, a viable option. I wasn't uh, cold, like I, well, I wasn't freezing, but I wasn't 100% comfortable. If I had the black bag, I would have been 100% comfortable, would have slept all the way through the night with no issues. But with this at 36 degrees, it was, my feet were a little cold, and if I was laying on my side, my middle back was a little a little cold not unbearable definitely you know would work but just not comfortable so underneath that I have a self inflating thermarest and this is the ProLite regular and I've I've used this before it's very thin surprisingly and I, I, when I bought this, I, I said, no, there's no way that's going to be comfortable. Surprisingly, I had no hard spots on in this pad. It's, uh, it's a little more firm than, say, a standard air mattress. And it just, it's comfortable. It really is. Now, it's not as wide as I would like it because if I sleep on my side, I find my arm kind of hanging off of the pad. But other than that, if you're someone that sleeps on your back or on your stomach, I think this would be an ideal pad and don't let the fact that it's really thin deter you it is it is very very comfortable and then for my pillow this is a chano dug outdoor i've never heard of this company i bought this pillow a couple years ago it's developed a very very slight leak so i'm probably gonna have to replace it and then what I do, so I don't have my face up against this material, which kind of bugs me, that plastic feel, is I use a buff. So this is just my head buff. And I'll slide that over the pillow and that's, that's it. Uh, as far as sleep system, that's really my whole sleep system. This is ideal for uh, early fall, early spring. So that's those nights where you know, it's getting down to 50, 40 degrees uh, again this it got down to 36 last night that's the coldest I've had the green bag out uh, and I, like I said that's probably the limit for me is that 35 to 36 degree range and then in the spring and summer I will switch over to just a, a Costco quilt so as far as the tent sleep system is concerned it's exactly the same as my hammock system with the exception of this and the uh, war bonnet ridge runner i do not use this air mattress i have used it it does perform exactly the way my closed cell pad works but what i like about the closed pad cell is one it's lighter and two it's wider and it's a little longer so it just it takes up a little more real estate in that hammock allows me to move around and not feel like i'm Kind of coming off of the pad so that's the sleep system and then if you guys watch my channel the last part of my sleep system is this and i'll let you guys comment below what i use this for as part of my sleep system <laughs> this is jeff with the common sense camper camping out